Hey, what's up guys, Sister the Third, and today we're gonna to be doing a mini guide on how to BP farm in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, I know it might be a little bit weird for me to do a Pokemon video since most of you know me from Smash, but my origins long ago when I first started my channel, uh, I started doing a Pokemon videos when I, when I first started doing my YouTube, and that's where uh, a few of you know me from. Uh, this game has been pretty uh, fun. It's actually got my motivation to play the game uh, competitively again, or at least have my interest in it. Um, but in order to do that, I'm gonna have to BP farm. Uh, and so I was originally doing a, a single strategy, um, which I'll mention a little bit later, uh, but I think I found a strategy that works really well uh, in order to help me get BP so I can start uh, working on a Pokemon. Um, I'm trying to get a, a Quagsire, but in order to do that, uh, I need to uh, get the Destiny Knot, and I'm gonna need some other items too to hopefully accelerate the process, like the Power Bracer and etc. that you can get from uh, the Pokemon Center. So, uh, the strategy that I like. First of all, beat the game. Um, you're gonna need to beat the game if you want to access the Battle Tower. Uh, and once you do, you'll see this guy over here in green once you visit uh, the Battle Tower. So, he is a wonderful person that allows you to borrow teams. Um, the team that I find to be the most effective uh, is the Rain Team. Uh, he actually recommends that you use this team uh, in doubles. Uh, the reason for that is because it's a rain boosted team that helps everyone on the team uh, exponentially and you have a lot of support with this team too. So initially I was a little bit skeptical of borrowing a, tem uh, a team from, from an NPC in a Pokemon game. Uh, usually these uh, these you know, trainers, I would expect for them to not have anything uh, anything crazy like you know investment or uh, the right natures or anything. Uh, but what's funny about this particular team and all these teams that you know he's using, uh, they're actually very, very uh, well thought out and well balanced teams, and I'm really impressed by that. Um, so you're gonna go to uh, double battle, single battle. The rain team works as well. Um, it's not as bad. I actually haven't lost with the with the rain team, but <laughs> there was a Shedinja, and uh, I, I couldn't hit the Shedinja because I didn't have a super effective move, so that's what stopped my run. Um, but otherwise, it was going pretty nicely. Um, I like this team a lot. We're gonna briefly go through it, um, and so I can explain to you guys how how wonderful this team is. So first thing you're gonna notice it has a Pelipper on it. Uh, Pelipper is the star member of this team and the one that you're always gonna want to have. Uh, the Pelipper has Drizzle. Uh, Drizzle, of course, being, you know, having the ability to set rain for five turns. Uh, doubles battles uh, usually go by pretty fast, so you're not going to run out of rain usually, uh, but there's ways you can also circumvent that and the battles tend to last longer or if a Pokemon changes the weather. So, uh, briefly, it has Hurricane Skull, Tailwind to protect. Usually you're not gonna be using Tailwind, uh, usually you're going to be sticking to Hurricane Skull and Protect. Uh, the thing that's awesome about all these Pokemon, by the way, uh, as I briefly go through them real quick, um, these Pokemon actually have investment into their stats, EV investment. They're all, they all have a quirky nature, so they all don't have the audible natures that would be the best for them. Uh, but they do have EV investments. So this Pelipper here, for instance, has maximum investment into its special attack and speed stats. Uh, this Ludicolo has max investment into its special attack and, and speed stat. This B Barascuta uh, has max investment into its speed and attack. The Raichu here has max investment into its special attack and speed stats. Ferrothorn has actually zero IVs in its speed stat. Um, and maximum IVs into uh, EVs into its attack and HP stats while also having Gyro Ball, which really impressed me because I didn't expect that at all. Uh, and then Seismos out here has max special attack and max, uh, and max speed. Um, so the general strategy will be uh, take your Pelipper, uh, grab the combination of Ludicolo, uh, which has this moveset, uh, and Swift Swim, which will uh, benefit from it. Um, grab Barascuta, and I usually tend to grab uh, Seismitoad or Ferrothorn. Raichu is also good as well. Fake Out, Encore, and Faint are very good moves for doubles, uh, but because you're dealing with CPUs, you don't necessarily know uh, what movesets they're going to uh, have unless you check on Cerebi, and even then it's not guaranteed that they're going to be using you know, Faint, or you know, so you can get maximum value out of that, and you know, are, they, are you going to be able to find a lot of usage out of Encore? It, it's almost a little bit too advanced for the CPUs, so I tend to not use Raichu, but if you want support with Lightning Rod, um, that's also an option too if you happen to be afraid of uh, electric types. I tend to pick this team. I tend to go with Pelipper first and Barrascuta second. This is such a strong combination uh, of Pokemon uh, and I will go into it 
uh, a little bit later. So I'm gonna pick Ludicolo uh, to give me some special defensive uh, tank because it has uh, tankiness because it has its guilt vest, and uh, you know Ludicolo has a high base amount of special defense as well. So in case you're dealing with a strong special sweeper, uh, Ludicolo is probably gonna be your answer for that. Uh, I tend to go Seismitoad usually because I like uh, the beneficial. Uh, things that come with uh, having a ground type on your team, you know, having a, you know, immunity to electricity uh, is really useful and it also benefits from Swift Swim as well. In order to make these go by as fast as possible, I turn off the battle uh, animations and the options uh, and I make the text really fast. I'm trying to get the most amount of BP as fast as I can. Um, and this has been the strategy that's been working for me. So, you know, you go through the animation here, you set your. Um, you set your reign. Um, and this is where uh, uh, Barskuda and Pelipper truly shine. You actually really don't need the other two members of the party if you uh, go about it correctly. Um, but say for instance, there's a Pokemon that, you know, that's threatening here, like a uh, Togedemaru, for instance, that might one-shot my Pelipper. Well, thankfully, your Pelipper has, uh, has Protect and Focus Sash to prevent either one of those things from happening. You don't necessarily need to keep Pelipper around forever to set rain because you have Gigamaxing. Um, if your Pokemon ever get to a point, or if the battle ever gets to a point where you have something that changes the weather due to stand stream, there's going to be a, uh, a, a what's it called? A, uh, a Vanillux that's going to be using hail. If these things happen to happen, then you're going to want to, uh, you know, Mega Evolve. What is it called? Uh, Gigamax. You're going to want to Gigamax your Pokemon. And what that'll do is that it will change the weather back to rain. Gigamaxing is actually kind of insane, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it's an extremely strong option um, that pretty much uh, makes it so that this team, uh, the coals in it, which would normally be uh, the weather being changed, uh, are heavily circumvented uh, by Dynamaxing. Oh, no, sorry, Gigamaxing, Dynamaxing, same thing. Uh, so, Veriscuta here is absolutely incredible. This Pokemon has an insane amount of attack and speed stats. In fact, let me pull it up here. It has a 123 base uh, attack stat and a 136 base speed stat. So even if the rain isn't set, your Barrascuta is still gonna be hitting a large amount of speed, 188 speed, um, which is gonna outspeed a ton of Pokemon. Uh, and with rain, uh, your liquidation has 80 base power plus stab, uh, you know, 50% additional damage due to stab would equal 120 base power, and then with another additional stack of stab, uh, or stack uh, of, of, of a boost because of rain, uh, that's going to be equaling uh, 180 base power just from liquidation. You don't need to Dynamax, and in, in fact, I tend to not Dynamax very often. The only reason why I would is there's an imperative threat that I need to take out. Uh, but if you really need to Dynamax, because I just don't like the time it takes to go through the animations and stuff or whatever, but if you really want to do it, uh, you know, Max uh, Geyser here has 130 base power uh, and makes it rain. I usually want to save my Dynamaxing until, again, a, a key threat needs to be taken out, or uh, if I need to set the rain back. So, you say for instance, I round out of uh, Drizzle turns and the rain goes away, or if, uh, you know, Pokemon changes the, the weather. The thing about this uh, Rare Scooter here is that you have an even more powerful option, along with Life Orb as well. Uh, 130 base power uh, at base, plus uh, plus Stab equals 65, so that equals 195 base power. Uh, and then on top of Rain equals, let's say, uh, 165 base power equals about, hmm, uh, uh, next, about, about 300 base power uh, in the Rain. Um, boosted by Life Orb as well, additionally, adding some additional damage. I believe it's 30% additional damage. Um, so it is extremely strong. Uh, if that Gudra was anything else, pretty much, uh, that had a little bit less HP, even if it's a not very effective move, we're going to be one-shotting a lot of things. So the thing about this combination that I love so much is that anything that these two can't take out, uh, any Pokemon that, uh, that Barskuda and, uh, and, uh, and Pelipper aren't able to take out, you uh, you still have assurance in your Seismitoad and in your uh, and your Ludicolo as well because they're also going to be that's, that's so loud they're also going to be boosted by um, by rain uh, through Swiss Swim so 
it's honestly a very effective strategy. I found it to be uh, one of the best strategies. I haven't lost to any team yet. I can't imagine myself losing to a team if I play uh, these battles correctly. Um, again, if you wanted to go by as fast as possible, I recommend turning off your animations. Uh, I recommend uh, also if you really are uh, worried about um, the you know the players, uh, the, the CPUs, you can also go on Serebi. I'm gonna link it in the description. Uh, you can see what teams uh, uh, these players usually have, these NPCs, so you can, you know, strategize around that as well. <clears throat> the most threatening things that you're going to have to look out for uh, are the Shedinja uh, player. Uh, there's going to be a little girl in an EB costume that's going to have a Shedinja. Uh, you want to be cognizant of her because if you don't uh, take her out with Pelipper, um, or if you don't change the weather to Hail from Ludicolo, um, you're not going to be able to take up the Shedinja. Um, it's also really important to keep in mind, too, that if Shedinja is the last person on screen uh, and you use Max Hailstorm on it, it won't change the rain. Uh, the rain. Uh, it won't change the weather to hail. Um, which is, a you know, will be extremely detrimental uh, to the strategy. Um, so make sure you keep in mind of uh, that. You're also going to be fighting Leon occasionally. Um, he's going to be showing up. He's one of the... Uh, he's the... Uh, the ace or whatever it's called, the, you know, the, the rank boss guy, I don't know. Um, but he's also going to be uh, showing up every so often. I don't find him to be that threatening. Um, personally, I haven't found any, uh, I haven't had that much of an issue with him. I don't want to deal uh, with Leon's uh, Charizard usually, so uh, having this rain team is extremely helpful against, the, against him. Because you know you're able to heavily neuter his power because of the rain, so you can't eat with fire moves with that much effectiveness, and you can super effectively hit him with water type attacks. So uh, I don't know. I I find the strategy to be the most consistent. Um, I find it to be the most. Oh wow, that's crazy. Um, I find it to not have that many exploitable holes. Um, if I come across any trainers that are dangerous, I'll go ahead and I'll let you guys know. Because again, I don't want I don't want anyone to be surprised here. You know, I don't want anyone to like you know. Oh, Ace, yes, I fought the you know the the Sun team that countered me or whatever. Uh, I don't know. Um, oh, great! I love that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm probably going to be doing more short and shield content in the future because I'm actually motivated to make videos. Again, I'm so sorry I've been gone for eight months and nine months or whatever. It's been very it'll be hard to make Pokemon content or make content in general when it comes to Smash because uh, online is atrocious and it. Makes me very upset. <laughs> I can't stand it. Uh, it doesn't make me very happy. So I found I've, I've been finding it very hard to make content for the game uh, that doesn't involve uh, going anywhere near Wi-Fi. So that's kind of been my big my big issue when it comes to making content. Uh, I've been trying to get over it mentally, um, but honestly, a lot of my time has been spent uh, on Twitch.com uh, streaming. Uh, a lot of RPGs, a lot of uh, Pokemon recently. Uh, I'm going to be playing Kingdom Hearts soon. So I've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of streaming. That's basically where I've been streaming and Twitter. So if you guys want to, you know, you, know, you want to go there, you want to um, support me there, then go right ahead. Uh, check out my, my Twitch. It's in the description as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope the strategy works out well for you guys. Um, let me know uh, your results and let me know if it uh, if it all works out well. Okay. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, also, you're able to stop protect with Dynamax too, which is crazy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later, uh, and have a wonderful day. All right, see you guys. Bye.